Okay, we're live. We didn't think we were going to be. I might be all dirty. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's been a day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's been a day. And Definitely. there are already people that are very mean that are starting hashtags <laughs> in the chat about what happened to us today. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> but no, it's all fun. And it, and it is funny. Uh, but I will admit to nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay, listen. There was not a members only tour today uh, for channel members uh, that we normally have, which is unfortunate and it's not my fault. That's your fault. But here's what happened. I'm down here this morning getting ready to go to the gym. Yeah, because I'm doing that now. Because mm -hmm. he works out. And you said, <laughs> you, you said from upstairs, John, <laughs> And I said, what? <laughs> Thank you, Candy. Audio is good. Thank you. And so I go to the stairs and you, I don't remember what it is that you said, but. I said, John, there's a problem. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> I go up to this, I go up the stairs and there is a massive leak coming through our ceiling into our family room where we on occasion, <laughs> gather as a family and have the TV in there, you know, that room. Oh, the living room. Well, some people call it a living room. Some people call it a family room, whatever. I call it a plant room. It is. It's almost like a greenhouse now. So uh, <laughs> immediately, you know, got frantic and ended up calling plumbers, five different plumbers. The plumber finally showed up at like, what was it? It was like 530. And yeah, the, the members only stream is supposed to be at seven. We had a tour lined up. We were going to tour the fish tank barn with Mike Howe. He's probably already super chatted us tonight. Mike, you don't have to, but he, he does all the time because he's just a good guy. And, uh, and I messaged him and I'm like, hey, the plumber just got here. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. And it is what it is. So uh, they, they didn't end up leaving. The, the poor plumber was here for a while. So it turns out that somebody's already said you need your mic closer to your mouth. Oh, see, I told her that before sorry. the stream started, but she doesn't listen. So <laughs> there was a, a connection behind our my sink in the master bathroom that was leaking. It might be my fault. I don't know, but it's fixed now. So uh, and but the ceiling's not. I got a lot of drywall work to do. But that is uh, what happened today. So we were dealing with that and there was not going to be any way we were going to be able to do the members only stream. I apologize about that. Uh, don't get scared. It's not something that we're abandoning or anything like that. We are going to continue doing it because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But we just we missed it because of an emergency today. So and I didn't want to put out a message saying sorry because of an emergency. We're not able to do it because then people would freak out like, oh, my God, is everybody OK? So, yeah. So that's that. We just have a giant hole in the ceiling. In Multiple. The living, yeah, in the living room. Multiple giant holes giant in the ceiling. Hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was not, you know, it is what it is. These things happen. So, I, but again, it might have been my fault. I don't know if it's my fault, but it might have been. So <laughs> we've, got, we've got so much to talk about tonight. Uh, the main topic of tonight is going to be uh, about... Is a large tank the best for beginner fish keepers? And that is that stems from your poll that you did yesterday, yeah. Um, which it has is, got a lot of traction. It's actually a very similar poll to one that I did about six weeks ago, but it's not the same poll. It is different. It just it sort of may seem like it's close to that one. I my the the little arrow cursor for my mouse was on your shoulder oh. and it and it, it freaked me out it I almost thought it was a fly landed on you like like Mike Pence last night but anyway you probably don't even know what that means but no, is there an honest yeah <laughs> that's actually hilarious when that happened. I saw I was on Facebook for a few minutes today <laughs> I saw <laughs> so but it wasn't it was it was my mouse so anyway uh, I want to address a couple of things from the video that we put up on Sunday uh, because there has been uh, several comments, some of them not so nice. And so we thought we would address a couple of things. Um, as expected, 
Yep. Send the celebratory music. Play the celebratory music. You see I have my shirt on <laughs> because I said in a past stream that if somebody does not make a certain comment on that video, I would do the stream with my shirt off Matthew McConaughey style, which is something you do not want to see. So be glad that that didn't happen. Uh, someone did comment about quarantining. Listen, folks. I even I commented about quarantining in the video. That's what's funny about it. You yeah. even explained why you're not quarantining <laughs> and people still commented about it. This is fun for me now. It, it really is. Because when something, when you do something like that, you know what's going to be said. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that the, the people that say things, they're not bad people. They're, they want to know. They're curious. They don't take the time to think about it. They just immediately react. How come you're not quarantining these fish? Listen, folks. If you are buying fish and you put them into an aquarium by themselves, you are quarantining those fish. Right. <laughs> okay? It might not be in, the, in an aquarium that is under the title of, a, of quarantine tank, mm -hmm. but what else would you have us do? Put them in a 10-gallon tank? Again, by themselves? Why? There's no other fish in that tank. It's funny to me that this happened. Uh, and it's kind of fun to be right about it because I knew that was going to happen and it did happen. Uh, but that's not the main thing that I wanted to talk about that. Again, the people who made those comments, they're generally, cur generally curious. I'm not mad at those people. I laugh it off. It's funny. But the breeding betas part is something that I think we do need to describe or, or explain a little bit because it is true that in a past video, you, and those, those were not my words, you put that in yourself. Yeah. Uh, you expressed your dislike for people breeding betas for fun. For fun. I don't, this is the second time I've done this today, and I hate when people do this, but I've done it twice now. In eight minutes, I've done it. And so you, you said you're not a fan of people breeding betas, for fun. And then in Sunday's video, you said you're going to start breeding betas. And people said, oh, how dare she? What a hypocrite. How dare she say she's going to, didn't she say people who breed betas are bad? No. Do you want me to do the explaining or do you want to explain no, it? No, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. We can talk about it together. But my whole point was what I wasn't, you know, what I didn't agree on was somebody for fun going to PetSmart, picking up a male and a female, and just breeding betas for the heck of it, not having a plan like, you know, what am I going to do once I do have all these babies? What's the backup plan? They're just going to sit in jars forever in their bedroom or basement or wherever they're at and die? You know, I mean, if if you have a plan, if you are part of a club or you have a website or you are able to get rid of them at a pet store, a, a local fish store or something, then that's ideal. My point was there's so many other fish out there that you can have that don't need to be separated males um, and some females, but there are so many other fish out there that you can breed. Why not choose those over a fish that you might need, well, you will need multiple tanks or, you know, homes for. And that was my point. Get something, get a live bear, get a guppy, you know, get something like that and breed it over a beta. The other thing here is if you... If you breed, just let's just say, a blue crown tail with a, a blue male crown tail with a blue female crown tail, you would assume you would get blue babies. So you have blue crown tail fry, okay? And you have a spawn of 300 of those. You can't walk into a fish store 
and say, I've got 300 crown tail betas, they're going to say, oh, okay, I'll take six of them. <laughs> what are you going to do with the other 294? But well, if you go the, into a fish store right. and you say, I've got these 300 mutt guppies, they're going to be like, how much you want for them? Not all of them, but you understand what I'm saying. Because they can take those 300 guppies, they can put them in a 55-gallon tank, and they'll be sold in three weeks. But they're not going to have 300 betas piled up. So then you'd have to end up going to fish store after fish store after fish store, and you'd struggle to get rid of them. The main thing that we have going for us is we have the ability to sell these fish by way of our website. And so we've sold fish before. We know how to package and we, we know how to sell fish. So that's not, you know, it, it's, it's not completely a different. New, it's not a new thing for us as far as that goes. It's, it's breeding fish is not new for us. Shipping fish is not new for us. Right. Selling fish is not new for us. So we are in a different situation than somebody that this, that's just breeding for fun. Right. So that's why we are doing, it, it makes us look like hypocrites, but we're really not because we still believe what you said. We both believe that, but we, it doesn't apply to us, I guess is the best way to say it. It doesn't mean we're better than anybody. It just means we have the ability to sell the fish. So that's why we're able to do that. So yeah, and you're waiting for it. You're not going to get any kind of official announcement yet as far as what we're doing. This is a long way down the road. This is not something that's happening tomorrow. This, at least I don't think it's happening tomorrow, but there's going to be some big things happening, big, big things that we cannot announce yet. So just be waiting for that. It's going to be awesome. And I don't think I've slept in two weeks because of it. So yeah. Well, it's been a busy two weeks. We've been places. <laughs> we've been places and ceilings we've got been falling. other places to go re and like here soon. So we're definitely working on a lot of stuff right now. It's been crazy and it's going to get crazier, a lot crazier, but it's so exciting. I cannot wait to share the information with all of you and with everybody on the channel, but we're not ready to do that yet. I think you can figure out what that announcement's going to be, but just wait for that. Uh, we will do videos on it. We'll talk about it here and all that kind of stuff. But I want to address, this is going to be completely out of order, but it has to do with what we're talking about here. Alex Sulawiski said uh, with the $2 Super Chat, why can't fish stores sell already quarantined fish? That's a great question. Some do. Uh, some fish stores have quarantine setups. Um, uh, Nova Tropicals has a whole quarantine room in their store. Um, so some stores do, but you also have to remember if you've got a store with 200 aquariums that they're displaying and selling fish in, you think they're going to have a back room with 200 quarantine aquariums? It's just not realistic. So not all fish stores are able to do that. So, and I understand it. I mean, how could you do it? But that adds to our story with that tank over there right. even more because our fish were quarantined by the place that sold them. We bought those fish from Simply Beta. They were in the same tank in her setup. She packaged them up. She shipped them here to us. They were, they've always been together. They were in the same tank. So they were quarantined. And then they came into our, and people still asked why we didn't get quarantined. So and if anyway. You, I, I mean, Knowing who they came from, it's kind of sad that people would say that <laughs> because I trust Taylor. Absolutely. 100%. And it, I know that these are good, healthy fish and I'm not, I mean, I haven't had a problem with them and I don't expect to have a problem with them. If there's a problem, it would be my own fault. It would be something that I did wrong. There's a lot of things that I'm changing up in the tank since the video came out. Um, I've got, well, I, I had a hang on the back filter previously. I have two sponge filters in there now. There's more plants. I mean, some people make videos the same day, put them out. We don't do that. We make videos and put them out a little bit later. So you don't always see what's going on today. Yeah, that video was recorded weeks ago. So we're... Yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, so I, I did go out of order with that super chat, and I apologize to everybody that came in before him. We will get to those, I promise. But we got so much more things to talk about. Um, 
a couple of very quick things that have to do with the website. Gift cards. Gift cards are available on the website now. You're not going to get a physical card. It is a digital uh, gift card, but they are available on the website. It's got its own page and everything. So all you got to do is go to the site on that sidebar. You'll see gift cards. Boom. There you go. Uh, holidays are coming up, folks. Everybody wants gift cards Everybody for holidays. Everybody likes fish shopping. So, yes. <laughs> That's my favorite. And after last week's stream. Sorry, I'll put my mic up closer. See, I told you. Uh, you know, everybody's telling you now, thank you to whoever is saying that to her because. Well, I mean, I don't want it right in my mouth. <laughs> um, well, you know what I mean. Never mind. It's, it's yeah, that was bad. Here, here comes Steve Carell. So. <laughs> no, anyway. <laughs> stickers. It's been something that has been talked about. Uh, Lefty is what who started it last week. Lefty, lots of numbers. We talked about all those stickers he had. The uh, the topic of stickers came up on the stream. We ordered stickers, uh, and it's very very cool. There was like three or four different people that reached out to me and saying, "Hey, I make stickers. I can I can make these stickers for you." Uh, but I, I did end up ordering them from someone I know. Uh, and so anybody that reached out to me that wanted to do that, uh, don't, don't be, uh, you know, disappointed or anything. This is somebody that I know. I've had dinner with this person, uh, Jadrin Aquatics. He's the one that makes a lot of the stickers for a lot of the people on YouTube. He hit me up. He's like, hey, how many do you want? Uh, and I paid for them. It's, he didn't give them to me for free. We got 3,000 of them made. Uh, they are the bubbles, exactly what you see on the bubbles shirt that we have on the website, which neither one of us is wearing tonight. Um, that is what the stickers are going to be. So, And we're getting them tomorrow, um, which is amazing. They just, boom, he printed them out that fast. And, uh, and and got him on the way. So Every the, time you bring him up, I think about that song. It's the best song. Somebody please share the Fish Nerd song from Jadron Aquatics in the chat. Somebody it's please do the that. Best. It is hilarious. And what's funny is you see that video and you automatically assume he's like this jovial jovial guy like he's one of these crazy wow kind of guys he is a very calm laid back kind of shy guy he's an awesome dude but you know when you see him doing a rap song in a video you expect he's going to be some wild and wacky guy uh but he's not he's very laid back and uh, and just very chill which is cool so yeah really excited about those uh they're going to be here tomorrow my fish for the 240 are going to be here tomorrow also. Yay. Uh, very excited about those. I don't know what Cichlid Shack is doing. I don't know what he's doing as far as if he's going to put extra fish in there. I hope he doesn't because I'll feel bad if he does. But uh, that's, you know, he said he said that. So we'll have to see what that is. But and we will get it on video. We can finally put your other fish in with your new fish. I don't know if we talked about that last week. I That's think we what did. we might have. That's what started this whole thing. I have a white blaze cichlid upstairs in a hospital tank that you have taken care of for months, and he's finally back to normal, and he's okay now. He's he's his eye is bad, but there's nothing we can do about that. We can't fix that. He's ready to go back in there, but we can't put him in there by himself because he'll just get beat up again. Right. So we're gonna put him in with a bunch of others, and hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I got a busy day tomorrow, but. Hopefully I can do a water change while I'm introducing these fish. And so it'll make things all crazy and, I know, and nobody the guy, will. Poor thing. I'm pretty sure he can only see out of one eye. We've got several animals with that problem. <laughs> so yeah, he is, uh, yep. Yeah, we're excited about that. Be able to reintroduce that fish as well as the, what I think is four, three fish, but it might be more. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. So want to mention a couple of very quick things here uh, that we've added to the website. Not going to do big sales pitches on these uh, because I don't want to take up much more time. But these are uh, how many, what, four quick products we're going to talk about that I'm really excited. If you look real close, you will see one behind Lisa Marie's head. Oh, can um, you see it? Uh, you kind of can't my, because it's black and it's in the tank. Your hair is black. Your hair is black. Everything is black back there. So... Uh, we have added to the site these little guys, uh, which I absolutely love. We got these in, uh, I got these sent to me a while back 
to kind of test out and see what we think about it. It's been in that tank for a while. You just haven't seen it. Uh, we've been, you know, seeing how we feel about it. And I love the design of it. If you haven't seen these, it would be a sponge filter that actually attaches to the glass, which is very, very cool. This hose extends, which is nice. And you can direct it any way you want. The air hose hooks to the back here. Again, there is one right behind Marie's head, but you can't barely see it. It's in the tank running right now. Very, very cool, excited about it. Um, it's on the filtration page and it is uh, the JBJ Nano sponge filter. That's what it's listed as. And oh, by the way, the sponge turns too. So you can configure this thing however you want. Very, very good for tiny nano tanks. Five gallons probably is gonna be the max that you would put this on. So if you have a 10 gallon, maybe stick two of them, but it's cool because you could put one on either I'm end. I'm gonna put one on both <clears throat> sides yep. of my 10 gallons. And you can direct, it looks like, what are those things called on a submarine? A submarine thingy? The thing, you know, <laughs> the periscope. Da down peris periscope, that movie's called Down Periscope. I think it's called a periscope. Uh, that's what it looks like. But yeah, you can direct that any way you want. Very cool, really excited about this. Uh, and this will replace the small sponge filter that we had on the site. Listen, one of the things that we try to do is we're not looking to steal from others. We're not looking to have the same things as everybody else. Can't find these anywhere. And so that's cool. Uh, maybe they're out there, I just couldn't find them. But there's Aquarium Co-op has a ton of sponge filters on there. He's having his own uh, sponge filters manufactured. He doesn't sell these, at least I don't think he does. And so this is not taking away from what he's doing. So that's kind of the, one of the philosophies that we have is we're not trying to hurt anybody else. We're trying to do, have things that others might not have so that nobody's stepping on anybody's toes. So very, very cool product there. A um, couple of other things. I'm going to do videos. I'm, I don't know that we're going to do a video on this. We might mention this in a video, but these other three things we, I am going to do videos for, in fact, I'm recording them tomorrow, which makes it weird because I've got fish coming and, and all this other stuff. Uh, three new Fritz products that are, they're all three new. They all just came out. You can't find them everywhere, but we've got them and I'm very excited about it. The first one is beta water. Now there's going to be a lot of people that might make fun of this product right here because it's just, it's a bottle of water. You could drink this. I don't know what it tastes like and I'm not willing to try it, but this is basically pre-mixed water with almond leaf ex extract, which everybody loves for betas and everybody should love it for betas. Uh, very cool. I'm not going to propose that you set up your brand new five gallon beta tank and you buy 12 of these and fill it up. You could do that, but this is more for the person who has that small nano tank and they do a little one, you know, a little water change in it. 20% or whatever it is, and you but top it off with this. I everybody had five gallons. What did I say? Smaller than a five? What? What? What's she talking about? <laughs> I mean, okay. people have different sized tanks. People, people have little nano tanks. Whatever it is that you have, if you got a small five tank. Five is a nano. But, okay, leave me alone. I'm busy right now. <laughs> you can take some of the water out replace it with this. There's no guesswork. You don't have to put water conditioner in it and all that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to be a salesman. I'm just saying this is a cool product. I don't know how many people are going to buy this, but it's a cool product. And we're going to lose money every time you buy one because it's heavy and it costs a lot to ship it. But that's okay because it's worth it in the end. Uh, these other two, very, very excited about. My favorite. We've already sold a ton of these. Um, this is a very cool product. I'm doing an entire video just on this product. It's not going to be a sales pitch video. It's going to be a video. We'll get, you'll see it. It's coming out. Uh, fishless fuel. This is basically liquid ammonia folks. This is what you would use if you want to cycle an aquarium or, without any fish in it. Or get rid of snakes because they don't like ammonia. Do, Okay. Uh, do not. I did put, research. I know you did. <laughs> do not put, we found a, a small snake snake in our garage. It was the other a copperhead. It was a copperhead. The cat killed it. It's gone. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here, folks. Uh, this is an ammonia product that you would put into a brand new tank to, to start the cycle up. And then you could add something like a, a Fritzzyme or something like that with it to provide the bacteria to kill that ammonia. Very good way to kickstart the fishless. And I repeat, fishless cycle. 
Very, very cool. Somebody ordered five bottles of this the other day, which is awesome. And, you know, I hope he understands or she that this is not Fritz Zyme. This is not Quick Start. This is not to be put in tanks that have fish in it. This is for people that are adamant about uh, cycling the aquarium before they ever put fish into there. Um, and I don't think that's a bad strategy. There is, <laughs> people tell stories of everything from peeing in aquariums yeah. to using pure ammonia, which I don't even know where you buy that from. There's all kinds of stories, powdered ammonia, this makes it very easy. It's very cheap. It's a small bottle. It goes a long way. Put this in there, gives the ammonia to the tank, gives the opportunity for that bacteria to build up. Again, a whole video is coming about this. Another video is going to be coming about these two products, the beta water. Only going to spend a couple of seconds on that because it's pretty simple. It's water that's perfect for betas. But this is an amazing product. We've sold several bottles of this already too that's without even talking about it. My favorite. This is for the people that want that perfect beta tank, that perfect beta water or shrimp or discus, or there's a lot of fish that will appreciate this. You want the tannins, you want the effects of the Indian almond leaves, the catapa leaves. You want that effect in there, but you don't want to have leaves floating around in your aquarium. That is why she uh, sheets. I don't know where my head is today. Water pouring from the ceiling has gotten my head messed up. That's why Fritz made this product. And newsflash, you heard what we were saying earlier. We're going to be using a lot of this. I already do. <laughs> in the coming months. I uh, well, oh, I meant for my personal. Well, yeah, but I'm saying we're going to be using a whole lot of it uh, coming soon. But yeah, very, very cool. Again, very cheap. They're just a few dollars each bottle. Something that's good to stick in your order when you're ordering other stuff and all of that. Very cool. So yeah, four cool things that we added. Uh, really excited about it. And uh, there you go. That's it for the the website stuff, except uh, there is one thing? more thing. One There's more one thing. More thing. I've received several messages and I have received several emails from people that asked, John, you're such a big fan of the Python water changing system. Why don't you sell them on the website? And that is a great question, but it's a very simple answer. We can't afford to. And, and what I mean by that is, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know, but we are not able to buy that product and then have enough room in it to even make a dollar off of that product. So you're, you're talking about basically we would pay for those systems the same amount that you would basically. And then we're going to lose money when we ship it to you because it's heavy and it's big. So we're going to have to put it in a big, heavy box. It's going to cost us, you know, way more than what you pay for shipping. So we basically would end up paying people to buy that. So with Pythons, it's like, hey, I and don't really want to. It's really sad because it's, it's really a great product. It is one of my favorite products that has ever been invented ever yeah. in the fish keeping hobby. And I would love to sell it. I have a feeling everybody knows how much I love that product. I think we could sell a ton of them. But unfortunately, I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know. But we actually, I actually got prices direct from the manufacturer. And they were the same as what you can, if I'm being honest, the same as what you can go on Amazon and buy it for. I'm not a fan of fish keeping stuff on Amazon. If I know. John, you used to have all of these affiliate links and all of that kind of stuff. I know. And they're still out there because I can't, I'm not going to go through and delete them all. I'm not a fan of Amazon for fish keeping. And that's probably hypocritical. If I'm not a fan of them for fish keeping, I shouldn't be a fan of them for anything, but I see what it's doing to our industry and it bothers me. Uh, so yeah, I don't like that, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, and I order off of Amazon three or four times a week. So I'm an, the ultimate hypocrite, but that product, I would say, go on Amazon and buy it. And I watch Amazon Prime all the time. The boys. What a good show. No, I watch so, uh, Chicago PD. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I absolutely love the Python. I would love to have it available. Um, th the whole thing with our website since the beginning has been we want to sell products that we believe in. 
I wholeheartedly believe that. Just around the corner behind Marie's head is a 100-foot Python system. We use it every day. I shouldn't say we. I use it once a week. You use it every day. Um, it's, it's one of the best products to ever hit the market, and I wish we could sell it, but we can't afford to. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to send you to Jeff Bezos' house to get that. So, let me find the... Do you... Please talk. Please interrupting you here and there <laughs> interrupt me more i don't want people saying in the in the comments john you should really be more respectful to lisa the i can see the hurt and the pain in her eyes somebody texted that or, or commented that last week yeah oh, well be nice i Jeez. mean i'm <laughs> i'm a horrible person i guess i uh, i don't know stop stop <laughs> the the poll last week we'll get into the main topic that uh and I, daggone it. How, okay, here we go. Let me get to the community tab. So if you don't know, the beautiful and wonderful Lisa Marie uh, puts up a poll every week uh, on Wednesdays, Wednesday morning, bright and early. As soon as you get up, it'll be there unless you're overseas. I don't know what time of day that is for you. But she puts one up every Wednesday and they're a lot of fun. You do a great job with those. I'm not going to go through that whole spiel because I, I praise you up and down at it's probably getting old for people to hear that, but um, they're a lot of fun. This week's poll was a short and sweet one. Thinking back to when you got your first aquarium, whether it was yesterday or 50 years ago, what size aquarium did you start with? There was a similar one where you said, yeah. what would you recommend to somebody for the first oh, one? Oh, yeah, right. But this one is, hey, when you started, what is what is the tank that you started with? Uh, the options were, I'm sorry, I looked at the chat for a second and it threw me off. Five gallons or smaller, 10 gallons, 20 to 30, 55 gallon, and the bigger the better. I went all out for my first tank. Um, I really should have gone in there and edited it, edited it, edited it. Try to say that. You're making fun of me. Try edited to say, edit, ed edited, edited it. Edited, edited it. That's fun to say, and it's very difficult to say. I wanted to say the bigger the better, and then write, that's what she said. But, that, you know, that joke's getting a little bit old by now. But uh, um, this, I, this one doesn't surprise me. It does surprise me that the top vote getters were a tie for first place. Uh, 7,400 people voted. And the whole point to today's main topic, the title of the stream, is actually the least vote getter, which was the bigger the better. That's what she said. 4% of 74, 7,400 people voted the bigger the better. Wow. And I'm going to tell you why that's wrong later on. But 6%, it literally goes in order from bottom to top. 6% said 55 gallon was their first size tank. 22% said 20 to 30 gallon, 34% and 34% tied for first place was five gallon or smaller and 10 gallon. Hmm. Now. I voted. What did you vote? What? No, I, you're, it was 55, 55. What? 55 was your first tank. Yeah. What did you put? I put 10. Because technically, no. Yeah. You, the night we bought the two arowanas, and I told you not to. You oh. went out and bought but a fifty-five. Kenzie had a ten. Oh, but that's not her. That's hers. That's not yours. I paid with. I paid for it with my money. Okay, I guess you didn't lie so, then. Yeah. But, um, my first was a twenty-nine gallon. Two 29 gallons, and then like a week later, got a 55 gallon, and then like a month later, got a 125. But uh, that's that's a common story, right? I mean, I hear those stories all the time. It started out with one, all of a sudden, blah blah blah. Yeah. But the first two tanks that I bought were 29 gallon tanks, so I would be among the 22 percent. But five gallons or smaller, and 10 gallons were 35, 34 percent each. That doesn't surprise me at all. Those are great size aquariums to start with. But that's not what the title of this stream was. The title of this stream was, is a larger tank better for beginners? 
And I'm going to explain to you, I'm doing this off the top of my head because I literally decided when I put this stream up, which was at like 7.45, I said, I, I changed the title because it was originally going to be, I titled it Fish Questions and Hopefully Answers. <laughs> But then I immediately changed it to our larger aquariums better for beginners. Um, so I have not had time to prepare what I'm about to say. But what I'm about to say is, yes, bigger tanks are better for beginners. Why? But also, no, they're not. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that's only if your beginner decides to stay in the hobby. See, that's the thing. Because let me tell you something, we all know every single one of you, 733 people watching right now, every single one of you knows bigger tanks are easier to take care of. It makes total sense. A larger body of water is not going to be contaminated as quickly as a small body of water. Especially if you only have one beta in there, they're going to love it. I've done it. In a big tank? Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then the poor I, thing got <laughs> got demoted. I, I called it the vacation home. Yeah. <laughs> a larger tank, more water. There's more water moving. There's algae blooms do not happen as fast. The tanks don't get as dirty. The ammonia, you know, during, I shouldn't say ammonia, but the nitrates don't scream as quickly as they would. And you can actually get away with doing water changes less frequently on larger tanks, particularly when you add live plants to those tanks. So there is, in my opinion, absolutely zero debate that larger tanks are easier to take care of. So that would make them better for new fish keepers. If they wanted to stay in the hobby and they didn't quit. You're absolutely right. And that's the part that we're getting at where I say also no. But it's also easier to cycle a larger tank. Because again, when you have four fish, like my 360, for example, 360 gallons, I started out with six fish in there and they were all very, very small. What are the odds of there being a massive ammonia spike in a 360 gallon tank with six small fish in it? The answer is the odds are very slim that that's going to happen. Now, if I took that 360 gallon tank and put 700 Comet goldfish in there, okay, we're having a different conversation, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the average hobbyist. Now, I'm certainly not proposing that a brand new fish keeper go out and buy a 360 gallon aquarium, but if that new fish keeper did buy a 360 gallon aquarium, it'd be easier for him to take care of. And he probably would not have the pitfalls that new fish keepers have. The ammonia spike in the beginning. And they're like, wow, what is this? I don't understand. Why are my fish all dying? Almost all new fish keepers don't know about that. They don't understand about the cycle, which is why we've done 20 videos about it. So that's much less likely to happen the larger the tank is. Now, when I say larger... I'm not only talking about 360 gallon tanks. When I put this on the title of this stream, I wasn't meaning several hundred gallons, but even let's say a, a 55 or a 75 gallon yeah. is easier than a 10 gallon tank. It's just a fact, folks. It's easier. Again, a 75 gallon tank with 150 Comet Goldfish is not gonna be as easy to take care of as a five gallon with three guppies in it. Okay, we're talking you know, under normal circumstances here, a 75 gallon tank is going to be easier to take care of than a smaller tank. So yes, they're great for beginners, but things still happen. Mm -hmm. Water gets spilled, fish die, leaks happen, oh, yeah. filters break. The equipment that's required for a larger tank is a lot more expensive than the 699 sponge filter for which is never going to break. Why? How could it break? There's nothing to break. Um, I suppose this suction cup could wear out or, or maybe the air pump that you attach it to. True. But even that, the air pump that you're going to use on a five gallon aquarium is going to be a whole lot cheaper than what you would use on. A, so everything right. is cheaper. Everything is just overly expensive with the larger the tank you get. 
So that new fish keeper that goes out and says, you know what, I'm going to take that bald guy with all the lights shining off of his head. I'm going to take his advice and I'm going to buy a 125 gallon tank. First of all, good choice, because it's probably the best size aquarium that's ever been made. But you're going to buy, uh, what are you going to buy? I mean, I don't know what kind of fish you're going to keep. What are you going to keep in this tank? You're going to buy probably a larger canister filter. Or maybe you're going to be like Bob Steenfot and have 75 sponge filters going across the back because you hate canister filters. Whatever it is, you're going to spend a lot of money, not only on a glass box, but you're going to buy a stand. You're going to buy a filter. You're going to buy large heaters, large lights, a bunch of decorations. And when things go bad, you're going to be awfully pissed off if you've spent uh, $1,200 on this beautiful aquarium and everything went belly up and everything went south, nothing's going to make you hate this hobby more than something like that. So Very true. like I said, bigger tanks, better for new fish keepers, but also not. <laughs> yeah. That's why I think a 10 gallon is probably the best to start with. I mean, that's my opinion. Now, what do I think is easier to maintain? I think a 55 and a 75 and a 125, they are way easier to maintain as far as keeping clean, you know, the algae and, and all that. I will never own anything under a 10 gallon again, just because of the fact that it's so hard to keep it clean. Will you? Yeah. Never? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know what I mean. Substrate, um, plants, decorations. I will not do that again. I had this little teeny thing that I got, and I escaped it, and I kept, I kept a beta in it. And I, it was like I could never keep it clean. It was horrible. So I would just, even a 10, 10s are hard to me they are. sometimes and that's why i'm doing water changes every single day and i have my handy dandy toothbrush that i go around and i clean everything but it's like by the time i get done with one it, it you know it's i gotta clean it again like within a few days it's it's getting algae all over it. and i think too maybe my possibly my lights are a little stronger than they should be but i don't leave them on that long only about seven hours a day I, I agree. A, a ten gallon is a great beginner size. And, and for people who have been in the hobby a long time. Well, sure. We've got, who knows how many ten gallon tanks we have, but if somebody was to say to me right now, John, I'm on a very tight budget, and most of us are. Let's face it, I'm on a tight budget, but I want as big a tank as possible. I want it to be easy to maintain, but I want to have options of the kind of fish that I can put in it. So I don't want a micro tank, I don't, but I can't afford a big tank. I would tell them a 29 gallon. Yeah. I think a 29 gallon, and I'm not being biased because that was the first size that I bought. My head is really shiny tonight. Sorry about that. I shaved today. That's why it's just extra you're, glossy. You're getting off topic but, again. A 29 gallon. <laughs> the 29 gallon <laughs> tanks, the, the, this is a, a little teeny tiny story. I finished my basement in the very first house I ever bought. I was 19 years old. And I finished the basement. I built a room in the basement. It was actually a laundry room. And I built two aquariums into the wall. I decided I wanted to do that. And it just so happened that the 29 gallon, the, the width and the height of a 29 gallon of 29s, two of them were going to be perfect for that space. So that's why I went with 29s. It's not because I looked at it and said, oh, that's going to be the easiest to take care of. No, it was just, that's what fit in that space that I was building. So that's why I started with those. But I still do think that, and, and this is not coming from a place of bias, I think 29 gallons are, are, are getting to that place where they're easier to take care of than a 10 gallon. Not night and day, but they're easier. And you have more options as far as the fish that you yeah, can put in there. And I think that you could have a beautiful community tank in a 29 gallon. You certainly can. Definitely. You can have angels. You can have Daniels. You can, I mean, you're not going to put Oscars in it. You're not going to put 
peacocks and haps in a 29 gallon tank. I mean, okay. so you are, you can't, you don't have the world as, as, as far as options. And that's where we don't need to start talking about 125s, which is my favorite. But anyway, uh, yeah, it, larger tanks, I think, are absolutely. I feel like we would have more fish keepers in the hobby if they all started with larger tanks. Hmm. I do because they they would have been more successful because larger tanks, you don't have as big a problem. But a lot of people get in the hobby because they bought their first beta that they picked up off the shelf in a little tiny cup. Very and true. And they're not going to just be like, hey, let me grab that 125 over there for this beta. Right. Wouldn't that be, that'd be the luckiest beta on planet Earth? <laughs> no, you're you're absolutely right. Nobody is going to, on impulse, pass a 125-gallon tank and say, ooh, got to buy that. But they are going to see that small beta tank, and they're going to see the beta in the cup, and they're going to say, oh, that's cute. Well, let's not get started on the small beta tanks, because they shouldn't even be on the shelf. I know. But, well, I mean, that has to do with the conversation that we're having, but... It is true that most people are going to start small and they're going to start small because it's more cost effective. People are going to say, you know what, I'm going to buy uh, this small tank because it's maybe going to cost me less than $100 and I'll have everything including the fish. And if I, if it, if I hate this hobby, then I've only spent $100. $100 is a lot of money, but... It's a lot better than the $1,200 you would spend to completely right. deck out a 125. So, I mean, I did this with drones, you know. I mean, I, I didn't go out and buy the most expensive drone. And you know what? I think I've flown my drone three times in the last six months, which is very unfortunate. I'm going to start flying it more, though, because of my situation. But it was the same thing. I was like, I'm not going to go and buy... A three thousand dollar phantom expensive Casey Neistat type drone. If I don't know whether I'm even going to be able to well, go out and fly them or not, it's kind of hard too because you have to live in an area where you can fly them easier. And yeah. I mean, we live so close to a lot of things that are restricted, and so it's hard. We have to go places. We have to drive out of town yeah basically. and that's that's if i didn't have to do that if i could go sit in my yard and fly the drone i'd be flying it four or five times a week but i got to get in the truck and i got to drive 25 minutes away before i can right. clear this navy base that we live next to and and be able to do that but i'm sorry to, to bring up drones but i was using that as an example it's like i don't know if i'm gonna like this hobby i kind of knew i was going to but i'm not going to go out and spend a fortune and then because I'm a rookie, wreck the drone and end up losing thousands of dollars. Same thing with, with fish keeping. Most people, hey, let's face it. Most people these days are starting in this hobby because they buy an aquarium for their child and then they find out they love it. There's a lot of people that come to this hobby for yeah. that. And those people are typically gonna be buying smaller aquariums. I think the ultimate answer to this question of is, a, is the larger tanks better than smaller tanks for new fish keepers. I think the answer is the best aquarium for new fish keepers is whatever is going to make that fish keeper happy and, and stay yeah, in the hobby. And stay in the hobby, exactly. That sounds extremely cliche and extremely politically correct, but I believe it. I mean, because I we are trying to contribute to the growth of this hobby. We're trying to promote this hobby. And that's, uh, I, so I think that's probably the best answer. Whatever is gonna keep you in this hobby that's the better one. But the argument is still out there. I don't think there is any argument. Larger tanks are easier to take care of. I agree 100% that they're easier to take care of. Maybe I should have titled the stream, Are Larger Aquariums Easier to Take Care Of? <laughs> That'll be next week, coming up on Tank Talk Live. Okay, so I hope I made my point there. What are you oh, going to get to? Guess what today is? I give up. It's Fishy Biz's birthday. What? What's he like, what? 24 today? Yeah, I think. Fishy Biz, happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Did, I saw a super chat come through from him. Is that going to be in the super chat? Did he wish himself a happy birthday? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. 8.38 before the stream even started. Pipix, is that how you say his name? With the poop emoji. Fish room fever with the poop emoji. Pooping on us. Knowing I had a poopy day. Aww. 
but it wasn't a drain that was leaking. So I didn't have a poopy day, <laughs> but, uh, but no, thank you gentlemen for that. Uh, Kathy Am 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 Amrin became a new member. Welcome to the team. Oh, welcome. Tom Pitsley with a dollar, nothing attached to it. Just wanted to hear his name. Aww. LKB Pythons, speaking of Pythons, uh, with the $2 just because you guys cool. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. You're cool, too. Uh, and it's funny. We, we weren't talking about you earlier because we love you, too. But we were talking about the Python water changing system. But it's funny that uh, anyway, I don't know where I'm going there. Uh, Harleen. Cower, I hope I'm saying your name right, became a member along with Mundy O'Reilly, which that's that's Aragon. I see that face all the time. It is him, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so thank you. The, those two became members of the team. Fish Tank Barn, no worries. Buy that plumber and ice cream. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, the plumber was able to diagnose the problem very quickly, and uh, it didn't cost a lot. So but I got to fix drywall now. Yeah, we have like a oh, huge hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Two major holes in the ceiling. Yeah, pretty Eric Furlow, 15 bucks towards future plumbing issues. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. We need it. <laughs> Grumpy Mike's fish with the poop emoji. Thank you, my friend, for pooping all over me. Allison Edmondson, my husband and I knew an emergency had to have come up. We're just glad it wasn't more serious and everyone is okay. Aww, this might you. get a few hundred drywall screws. Yeah, um, I'm going to be honest. It's going to take me forever to fix it because I, I'm not uh, very good at fixing drywall. Better take you the weekend. <laughs> Monday. I, I was just talking to Susie Q about that, about wanting to have uh, the hook, the hole put into the ceiling for my plants. Ah. Uh. And I was like, well, hopefully John will do that for me soon because he doesn't <laughs> want me to do it. Now look at the ceiling. Now we know where the joists are. I can find a good place to hang the uh, the hangers there. Yeah. Monday O'Reilly, here's an idea for a drinking game. Take a shot every time John says it's a beautiful thing. Oh. I think I said that probably 12 times already in the stream. So y'all would be good and drunk by now. I hear it all <laughs> the time. <laughs> it's just, do you want to know why I say it? I've never even told you this. Oh. It's from the movie Donnie Brasco. Oh. Al Pacino. He says it. It's like a wise guy thing. That's a beautiful thing. That it's. Watch that movie and you will hear that said a thousand times. I'm a sucker for mafia movies and I'm a sucker for Al Pacino. There you go. And the part when he's showing uh, Donnie the Johnny Depp the uh, diamond. He says, "Look at that. that. That's a beautiful thing." That's what got me with the beautiful thing. That's why I say it all the time. Uh, Kaler's Aquatics pooped on us at uh, 9.07. Candace's Aquatics became a new member. Welcome. Uh, Brian Harrow, what a current USA LED 72 inch light, a 180 tank enough or would two 48 by 60s work better? I'm gonna tell you that on a six foot tank, the best we've ever had has been two six foot lights or four three foot lights or any kind of configuration like that. If you really want to go bright um, and you just said current 72, so I don't know which kind you're talking about. Uh, the, the discus tank behind Marie has two of their orbit lights on them, which are amazing They're and they work great. Um, the tank behind you there, the 90 gallon, has the two Aquion four foot lights that came with the tank and they do a great job. So, <clears throat> um, but the, we've tried lights that are not the full length of the tank. You got that foot or whatever on each end and it just never seems to do it. So definitely get the full length of the tank. Uh, if you can only afford one, get one. That's fine. Get the second one later on. But that is kind of the like, Creme de la creme, if you ask me, having the two full length lights, it's the best. Yeah. Uh, but then again, the tank behind me has one Fluval 3.0 and it's just as bright as those two Aquions. So depends on what light you buy. Uh, Alex Sulawiski, we already got his. Uh, Ariel C, uh, thank you again, Alex, by the way. Ariel C became a new member. Grumpy Mike's Fish with the $5 cat writing. Uh, number one, I think is what that says. I think, oh, I hope. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grumpy Mike. Get in a better mood. You're grumpy all the time. <laughs> no, 
he's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name. I know, but I saw one of his videos. He's not grumpy. Oh, I know. that. I've seen his videos, too. Stephen LeBlanc. Yes, it's true. I've seen his videos. I watch everybody's videos. Uh, Stephen LeBlanc with the $5 Canadian. Where can I ask about showing my tanks? Is it okay if I have a couple fish some people may yell at me for? Also, Lisa, you look amazing today. Oh, thank you. Uh, so <laughs> the thing with showing the tanks, uh, I can't tell in this particular screen that I'm looking at. You have to be a channel member. And uh, you have to email me, kgtropicals at gmail.com. Email me if you are a channel member. There is a difference between members and subscribers. So understand that. Um, but that is the rule. I, and, I, and I'm not going to make any exceptions to that because then that kind of takes the whole novelty out of it. If I just say, well, because of this special occasion, we're going to do, the, you know. Right. Uh, so I, I kind of can't pass on that. Even if it was Joey or Corey, which... Corey's a member of our channel, but uh, even if it was a big time name, I, it's just not, I can't do that because as much as I would love to, I would just do it on this stream if it was somebody like that. But um, yeah, for the members, that is the opportunity to watch members tours. So if you're a channel member, email me. Uh, Tom Pitsley, curious as to why you guys don't sit together. Oh. <laughs> we are sitting together. I'm around him so much. I need this time to take a break. <laughs> Listen, I, I've done, the, shame on you. I've, I've done this many, many times, folks. So many people don't know this, but we are sitting directly across from each other. I'm putting my hand, I would, but I would cut you. Uh, now I'm disrespecting you again. That's my <laughs> hand in front of her. She's right in front of me. High five. High five. There we go. See, we're sitting together. We're not sitting next to each other. Uh, at, we like looking at each other. Look at her. She's beautiful to look at. Why would I? Stop. I would much rather look at her than have her. <laughs> Plus, do you want us talking to each other like this? Like, uh, uh, no. When we're talking to each other and we're looking at each other, we're kind of still looking towards the camera. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, Ethan and Gila. That's kind of where I got the, the idea of doing it this way. Um, H3 Productions, in case you're wondering. Um, but we are technically, we are sitting together. We're just across the table from each other. Moonstone Aquatics says whatever. Oh. I say that all the time. And that's one of the words that I... Yeah, I saw that. And that's what I immediately thought of when I saw <laughs> that. So thank you for whatevering me. That usually, that pretty much means shut up. So, okay. He knows, Your show now. He knows the women, <laughs> the women terms, the five words not or the five words that you need to be aware of that a woman says i don't have them up front anymore fine whatever um okay uh i don't even remember all of them but i say them i do say them. every last one of them you say <laughs> uh stephen p 2003 plumbers ain't cheap yeah mm. this one um we kind of caught a break I mean, it wasn't yeah. as bad as I thought um, because it, it literally did not require any tools for him to fix it, but he did have to search for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he had to cut the drywall and stuff like that. So, you know, he was here for about an hour, maybe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was very surprised at, uh, at how cheap it was. It wasn't cheap, but I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Uh, David Martin became a member. Welcome to the team. Lefty three, lefty lots of numbers lefty. with the $2 kitty. <gasps> You know what? I'm sorry, Lefty. I will message you because I'll message you. He's going to send me something. Okay. Snails and some food. Oh, plants. there we go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Phil Bohm with the $5 fish. It's just a fish. It's, I believe, a saltwater angel fish, I believe. Oh, uh, I think we've got like four or five comments again this week asking us when are we ever going to do a saltwater tank. And... I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a saltwater fish. It's like this big on my screen, so I can't really see it. But uh, uh, he's not asking about a, um, a saltwater tank. But I would love to get a saltwater tank someday. I'm not going to go on a whole spiel about it. But I don't think I would do it here. You have a dory. I think that uh, that's true. Uh, I think that, well, I don't think. There's, there's going to come a day where we're going to move our business out of where it is now and into a commercial space or something like that and be able to spread out and don't let her fall off the table. 
Um, and maybe then we would do something like that. But for right now, no. Uh, oh, and I do have an announcement. It's a very cool announcement. Oh. There is a guy. You don't even know about this unless you followed along with the of emails. Course. There is a gentleman. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants me to say his name. Uh, who we met at the PVAS meeting with Corey that wants to give me 20 yellow labs. And That's he lives so awesome. five miles from me. Oh, really? Yes. So, That's so cool. I'm really excited about that. He even sent me a video of them. They're adorable. Aww. They're like two inches long now. They're adorable. They're beautiful yellow labs. So we got the fish for the tank that will eventually go there. And I'm going to have to work with this uh, camera angle here to show more of I'm that so tank. Uh, no updates on the tank as far as when it's going to be here, but it will, uh, I don't know. It's going to be here soon, hopefully. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm going to have videos all about that. But the thing is, with this, we can't really hide it. I suppose I could put a big tarp up like Corey did to hide the 800 gallon that he was doing for a while, but I'm not going to do that. It'll just be behind me and it'll be empty until I get the filter built and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, Whitney Nolan, Lisa, love your hair down. Aww. And I have a question about discus. Thank you. I want some discus thinking about getting six advice besides water changes. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I could give a lot of advice about discus, but I would say the best thing to do is... I guess six discus, I would have a 55. Um, honestly, if you don't already have it planted and cycled and everything, then what I would do would be have it bare, cycle it the way it needs to be cycled. You can um, watch one of John's nitrogen cycles uh, and, and all that. But if you don't already have like an existing tank that's planted for them, then I would in the beginning just keep them in a bare tank, uh, maybe with some driftwood, but no plants right away and uh, grow them, get them small, watch them grow. And once you've established that and you've had them for a while, they're doing really good. Then I'd, I'd get into maybe putting some plants in there and stuff because to me, having like a planted tank, even though you didn't ask about that, having a planted tank is a lot of work, just like growing discus is a lot of work. And I have found to be more successful with discus just having it bare and growing them. They grow faster. I feel like they grow faster. Um, you know, feed them regularly, water change them regularly, and just don't don't chase a pH. Uh, kind of stick with what you have coming out of your tap. Now, if you know that your tap water is like really high, then maybe discus aren't for you. But um, yeah, I mean, and buy your discus from Hans. Yes, but email me. <laughs> Ask me all the questions you want. I might not get back to you that day, but if you want to email me like specific questions, then I can answer them because I'm not really sure what else to say about that. <laughs> yeah, discus are, are an, a whole new world that uh, there's, the connection that you have with discus is very similar to the connection you have with betas. It's like a very personal thing. Mm -hmm. They're, they're very special to, to you and to me. Um, and it, there's very few fish that have that same level of attachment. Right. Uh, we love them all, but those, for whatever reason, their cuteness or the fact that they're round like little pancakes, who knows? But, uh, yeah, discus are a whole new world, and they are amazing. They're like, I mean, for me, they're just like any other fish. I don't find that they're hard to keep. They're not, once you know how to take care of them, they're not hard to keep. You just need to know. <laughs> Ricky Alger says, take my money. And we apparently did, because we can't yeah. give it back. So thank you so much <laughs> for that. Matt Man B with the 99 cent poop emoji. People pooping all over me tonight because I broke the plumbing. Matthew Meyer, good evening. I'm trying to make use of sponge filters, but I can't tell if you have one that can support a 200 gallon oh. or maybe two. 
You guys are great. Appreciate your help. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have a sponge filter that would accommodate that. But you could buy 36 of these. <laughs> oh. Might look a little weird, but you asked. So there's your answer. But but no. Uh, Probably more than that. <laughs> I, when we talk about 200-gallon aquariums, I think you need to move to something beyond sponge filters. Sp I love sponge filters. I do. Uh, but when you're talking big like that, I think that's when you need to you need to move a lot more water. Um, and, it, but again, it depends on what you're keeping, you know, but I don't know that they make a sponge filter large enough for a 200 gallon tank. Um, I'm pretty sure that thumbnail of Corey holding that giant sponge filter. That's like the size of a trash can. I'm pretty sure that's Jimmy's work there. I don't think that that sponge filter exists, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know that they make them that big. And if they did, it would take up like a quarter of the tank. So why would you want that in there? Uh, I think you'd probably be better off looking at more of a, a canister filter or maybe a couple of hang on the backs or something like that. Um, as much as I would love to sell you 57 of these to put in your 200 gallon tank, I don't think it would work. Uh, plus you'd have to have like a massive air pump to push all of those. Um, Waddles and Waddles with Wolves, PETA suggests 2.5 gallon for betas. And PETA has never been wrong about anything ever. I sense a little sarcasm there. Oh. Um, 2.5 gallons for a beta is fine. We have said it a million times. Perfect world. Everyone would have them in a minimum of five gallon tanks. We realize not everybody can do that. I am not a fan. You are not a fan of having betas in little tiny vases and stuff like that. We've made that very clear. Uh, but a two and a half gallon tank. Can you? See? That's a two and a half gallon tank right there that I'm going to be using uh, to do these videos. And what did uh, I ask you when you brought that in the house? What did I say? What are you doing with my tank or something? I no, I said, what are you putting in that? Just like that. I said, what are you putting in that? I bought that tank at <laughs> Petco, paid full price I for said, it. I said, are you putting a snail in that? And that's <laughs> just for doing these videos. That is my commitment to our YouTube following. Um, and that was like $30 for that thing. It's a beautiful yeah, little rimless ridiculous. two and a half gallon tank. But uh, but yeah, a two and a half gallon, I, I think is, is perfectly fine for a beta. But again, in a perfect world, uh, I would like to see them in five gallons or more. And I know you feel the exact same way. And I think Waddles with Wolves feels the same way too. But uh, was being a little sarcastic about our friends over there at PETA. I'm not against PETA. Um, I'm against the extreme PETA people. Um, but I think the PETA organization people. as a whole serves a good purpose. So what? You said PETA people. It just sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> PETA people. Almost as weird as hearing you say the word regularly like four <laughs> times. You know so I love I you. I struggle with that. It's, Regularly. It's adorable. <laughs> it's about like me saying edited it. Yeah. I edited it. Again, try it. It's not as easy to say as you think. <laughs> Sean Pilk. Got new 75 gallon fully cycled. How many one inch imbunas can I have? Don't want to do breeding, but is it best to have females in the tank? My friend, if you're going to buy one inch imbunas... You can't stop it because you are, yeah. I mean, maybe the best Imbuna breeder on earth could look at a one inch fish. You realize a one inch fish is that big and be able to determine if that is a male or a female. It's, kind of, it, it's yeah. very hard. I know how to, I know how to vent African cichlids. A lot of people do, but when they're that small, mm, you're going to struggle to to vent them. So don't let anybody fool you into saying, oh, that one inch imbuna is definitely a male. Don't buy into that crap. Uh, they're too small at that point to determine sex. So when you put them in your 75 gallon tank, uh, you will have breeding because they're going to grow up and some of them are going to be females and they're going to breed. There's nothing you can do about it unless you get rid of the females as they grow, which then you're always getting rid of fish. It's not going to be easy to do. And then you have to introduce more to replace the ones you had to get rid of. and Right. So, yeah, and then when you're adding new fish, that always adds problems. So, yeah, it's, it's a struggle. Um, 
but to, to answer your the end of your question, like how many can I put in a 75 gallon tank? The my suggestions have changed over the years. Um, back in the day, and this was not a sales ploy because I was selling fish at the time. Back in the day, my suggested number of fish was significantly different than it is now. Um, I would say 20. That's what I would say. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm putting a 240 gallon aquarium right there, right there. Mm -hmm. And the number I want, and I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this with the, the fish from our friend. If I can, I, I would like to get, to, I'd like to do 40 of them in that 240 gallon tank. Um, so we're talking about double the fish than what I'm suggesting to you, but triple the size aquarium with a massive sump that I'm going to build myself and I'm going to make videos about. Uh, but I, I think 40, because when you start out with 40, I mean, let's be real a year from now, that number is not going to still be 40, especially if there's a lot of hiding in places. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. The number after a year could be 70 yeah. <laughs> or it could be 31. Yeah. You just never really know. But I think I might just go with that 20 and just leave it. And I mean, I think 20 in Buna's yellow labs, when they get full size in a 240 gallon tank, I think it's going to look gorgeous. So, And if um, there's a holding female, I'll take her out. I'll strip her and I'll stick. Yeah all the babies in the tank, grow them up, and then you'll have a whole bunch more. I'll do that. Yeah, see, that's actually the answer to the issue. I don't need to worry about more than 20. He's, I think he has 20 that he's going to give us. And, and yes, I did say give us. He's not, it's not because he wants any, it, it's just, he's a guy from the local club. We met him. He's a good guy. And he's like, hey, I got 20 yellow labs. You want them? I'm like, please. And I'm going to give him some stuff to make it worth his while. But, yeah. you know, that's that's just the beautiful thing about fish keepers. So um, and, and I actually said to him, I said, hey, you know, we're not going to have this tank. I'm probably not going to be ready for this. These fish for a couple of months, probably, because I don't know when the tank's coming in. And then when it does come in, I got to get lights for it. I got to get a filter filtration system set up for it. It's going to be a while. And he's like, nah, no big deal. I said, OK, well, let me send you some food. And you can feed, he lives right down the street. I've never been to his house, but um, let me send you some food. He's ordered from our website. Actually, as a matter of fact, he ordered this week. The cat's trying to strip you here. Uh, she heard you talking about stripping females and she was like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, I said, look, let me throw some food into your order and you can feed th these fish with it. That way I'm feeding your fish. And he said, no, don't worry about it. It's, it's all good. So I'm going to make it worth it for him uh, when, when we do get those fish. But that just shows how cool the fish keeping community is. Um, but listen, back to your original question. I'm going to change my number because I'm going to do the responsible thing. And I'm going to say 16. And change my number. 16. I, think I had more than that. When I did my <clears throat> Buna tank, I had the 75 with the, uh, what was it? What background? It was the white. The white Holy, Holy Rock, Rock Universal background. Rocks background. Yep. yep. And that was the one where I did the video when I went shopping for the Ambunas. And it was so much fun because I knew exactly which one was the dominant male in each tank. So I got an all male Ambuna tank and it was gorgeous. The interesting thing about that video is I, I got a song. This was like 2013. Mm -hmm. I got a song off of a website that said Royalty Fury Music. That's like 10 times I've done this tonight royalty free music but here's what happened i the it was royalty free i put the guy's link and everything in the description of the video like it said that you needed to do and i followed all the rules i did everything right but what happened is like six months later that guy decided he was no longer going to have his songs available on the website and he filed copyright claims I'm assuming on everybody that used his videos. So he actually was going to end up making the money off of our videos, but I decided, nope, I'm going to be vindictive here. I don't care about the money from one video that we made back in 2013. What I ended up doing is I just deleted the music 
from that uh, particular portion of I the video. That music. So it was when fun. it was good music, it was fun. Yeah, it was awesome. Fun music. When you watch that video now, there's like four minutes of that video that's just silent, <laughs> and it still gets a lot of views, which is weird. But yeah, that's uh, that's the story behind that. Lefty three two a lefty lots of numbers says update on Lisa's African cichlid tank. Well, we've been talking about it all night. <laughs> and you should be ashamed of yourself for being so cruel, saying that it's her tank. It's mine. My yellow labs, mine. Okay. Is it Zakia? Norman Zakia. I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to say it. More tanks of our lives. Thanks for the knowledge. Oh. I said to you the other day, we got to figure out another one. Listen, here's what you need to do, folks. 814 people in here listening to me run my mouth and not let you talk. I've been talking. <laughs> We need ideas. I can come up with ideas all day long of videos to do about the hobby and about fish keeping. But with, with Tanks of Our Lives, it's a more complex thing. It's like writing a movie. <laughs> it's fun, though. I know that sounds silly, but that's kind of the planning I put into it and different scenes and all of this. So and give I me some to, ideas. And I get to be a jerk. <laughs> give me some ideas. Uh, and, and you can't do it now because we don't have much time left. And by the time you do it tonight, it, w it wouldn't be time. So if you got really good ideas, send them to me through email, kgtropicals at gmail.com. I just made my life probably hard for the next couple of days because everybody's going to be emailing me. But you I, asked for it. I'm kind of, I know. That's why I said <laughs> I made my life hard. It's kind of hard to come up with the right topics to do for that series where I can just make myself look like a complete buffoon which isn't hard to do and make you look like a jerk, which of course I'm, I have to say that's very hard to do. Aww. But it is right? fun. It's <laughs> fun to actually do that sometimes. And it is fun. fun. We gave you, <laughs> we gave you an appearance of Steve and Karen. Uh, it was like a month and a half ago in that one video. No, that was like three months ago. That wasn't that long ago. Junk shop library, chocolate Pleco won't stop eating. Ideas for variety and diet beyond fluval bug bites, pleco formula, and zucchini. Hmm. I mean, that's you're doing well feeding them that. Yeah. Uh, Extreme has the scrapers. We've got them on our website. Uh, they sell like crazy. People tend to to love those. Uh, I mean, Hikari has a product for plecos. Everybody makes a product for plecos. Um, but you know, they won't stop eating. I've I don't think I've ever heard a fish keeper complain about that. So that's actually a good thing. Uh, except, you know, if he's eating everything and not letting any other fish eat, then that could be a problem. But yeah, um, if your fish won't stop eating, that's the exact reverse problem from what most people have. <laughs> Matt Man B, who invented the idea to fill a glass box with water and put fish in it? Huh. I think it was in Japan or it was... I think it was in Japan. It was like Buddhists or something. I, I, I don't know. That's actually a good question, but I don't know. I, I really do think, or maybe I that's bet just. You it was a bowl, though. What I'm actually <laughs> saying might be like the origins of goldfish, um, not necessarily fish in glass boxes altogether, but that is a good question. And uh, if I got a real answer, which how do you ever really know? if it was the real answer. But if I had a concrete answer, like I knew that was the actual definite answer, then it'd be something worth making a video about. Um, I mean, I can make a video about the origins of African cichlids into the United States because, well, I know the people that did it. <laughs> so that makes it easy. But I mean, I don't know Stuart Grant, but the bureaus had a lot to do with that and, and they were right there. So, uh, you know, I know Andy more than Rick, but anyway, that I could talk about, but fish as a whole, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I do think, I'm going to tell you this junk shop library, another uh, two brothers uh, that had a lot to do with bringing African cichlids to the United States, the Bailey brothers, go on your podcast app and type in, I'm pretty sure it's called Pet Fish Talk. Uh, these gentlemen are not doing the stream, the podcast anymore, but I think they have a podcast episode about that. Not about their story. They tell their story a lot, 
uh, and it's a fascinating story because they were young brothers uh, living with their parents, started putting aquariums in the basement and started their business that way, which is the same as the Bureau's story, except not in their parents' house. Um, it, it's a fascinating story, but I think they do talk about the origins of fish keeping in one of those. And I think I remember listening to it in like 2010. So anyway, I remember that because then you told me all about it and I didn't have to listen to it because yeah. I listened to you. <laughs> it's a it's a great podcast um, and it's not a podcast that's just 100 percent advertisements. Which there's a there's a few fish keeping podcasts out there that are great. Um, Randy Reads is awesome. The the Aquarist podcast. Uh, love that one. Um, I like the aquarium guys. I've been listening to them lately. They don't know who I am, but I, I like them. Maybe they know who we are. I don't know. Um, I like their show and I really like the Bailey brothers pet fish talk. Um, but there's another one out there. That's just every podcast. All it is, is a commercial. It gets kind of old after a while. Used to be really good. And I was actually a guest on it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm digging the hole even deeper now. But you know what, Matt Man, if you find the answer to that question, let me know. Uh, Eric Furlow, who had a 10-gallon tank with an iridescent shark in it? This guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time ago. Don't judge me. We've all done it, Eric. All of us have mm -hmm. put fish in tanks that we shouldn't have. Yep. And the thing is, people still do it every single day. And that's our job to help them through that. Yes. So don't be ashamed of yourself. We've all done that. Uh, and people are still doing it probably as we speak. Somebody's I, setting I up think, an aquarium. I think it takes a real person to admit their faults and that they learned from them. Definitely true. Marcin Wu, I hope I'm saying your name right. With the $5 super chat, no text attached to it at all. That is a beautiful thing. Cody David, Co Cody David became a new member. Welcome to the team. Yeah, welcome. Charlotte Jackson, Space is Prime, $20. Good grief. Uh, yeah, I mean, space, talking about the big aquariums, it's absolutely true. The more water, the more space there is right. for that disease or that uh, ammonia or to dissipate. And I'm not saying that diseases can't have be a problem in a 125-gallon tank or whatever. Yeah. But it is true that the larger the body, body of water, the less likely it is to be quickly contaminated. Doesn't mean it can't be contaminated but it won't happen as quickly as a little two and a half gallon little jar. So yeah, Char thank you, Charlotte. Lefty, lots of numbers again, need more ram's horns to keep the sm smalls clean. Oh, oh the small, yeah. yep, I get it, I see it now. Yep. <laughs> Kane Fritz Wallace became a member, oops, here we go, it just skipped on me. Daggone it, YouTube, why do you do this to me? And now I can't get back, we are way behind. What is happening here tonight, folks? What are you all doing? Uh, became a member and wanted to watch the member fish room tours, but can't seem to find them in the members only videos. Oh. I'm looking in the wrong place. Thank you. Because you've reminded me of something I've been trying to remind myself all week to take care of. I need to add the last few. I need, I'm going to make a playlist of them. So... Listen, Kane, I hope you're still watching. It's been a half an hour since you put this in. Uh, give me a half an hour after this stream is over. There will be a playlist on the channel that is members only fish room tours. Mm -hmm. I promise you it's going to be there. Remind me, please. Hey, Siri, oh. remind me to do the members only uh, playlist. Because Siri is going to tell you before I would. <laughs> do the members only playlist. But I didn't tell her when to remind me. Anyway, she'll know. <laughs> Fishy biz, it's my 40th today. 40? I have an empty for, 40. Wow. I have an empty 40 gallon. I think I know the answer, but I'll ask anyway. Oscar or Flowerhorn, both big personalities. What do you think? I think that's too small for either one of those fish, but. Uh, According to somebody we know, they would say Flowerhorn. That's very true. Um, I, and, and I'm going to say that too, because I want your Oscar to be in a bigger tank, but Drew, you know, you know, I'm an Oscar guy. And if you don't like Oscars, <laughs> he, he didn't say he didn't like them. <laughs> no, I know. 
Uh, yeah, I'm never going to tell you not to get an Oscar because I love them. Uh, my two are doing great, even though they're jerks. And I'm they're just going to say it killed one of my arowanas. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I haven't talked about that. I haven't been hiding it. It just hasn't come up. But uh, yeah, that, that was a, a tragic thing. So mm. my uh, Oscars have become jerks, but I still love them because I love Oscars. So I, um, I'm mad at them. But I want I'm you to get really a bigger tank for the them. Oscars and the flower horn. So get a 225 or a 250, 240, and then get them both. Just don't put them in the same tank. So get two 240s. Ricky Alger, again, same thing. Just take my money. It, it literally typed, take my money. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. That's very nice of you. She She's Aquatics did the same thing, except she didn't say anything at all. She She. Just the money. You, as if she She is awesome. She's someone else that you should check out as far as if you're interested in getting a beta. She breeds a lot of her own betas, so go check her out too. So there you go. Absolutely. I've even gotten some from her, and they were beautiful. They were amazing. Tiffany Underwood, who I believe put in an order today. That name sounds really no, familiar. No, it's somebody else that sounds just like her. Carrie, Carrie, and it's not Underwood. But yeah, but don't say the name. But yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. just like, because I, I like, looked at it and I was like, that is not Carrie Underwood. And then I was like, oh, wait. That's I feel like Tiffany Underwood has ordered from our website before, though. But anyway, not going to lie, I have a crown tail female in a 2.5 gallon planted tank since July 4th. She has vision damage from Popeye. I was unable to cure, treated three times, was having a really hard time feeding even in a five gallon. Yeah, like I said, you know what? Yeah. Your female crown tail beta uh, is probably having a better life in her two hundred in her 2.5 gallon tank in your house yeah. than she would have if it's most easy. of the other people bought smaller, it. Smaller tanks are easier to treat too, so... Uh, if you have to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. so, yep, Catwoman VA with the dollar fifty, and it's a star something, and <laughs> it's cute. Thank you so much. This is a name that's popping up all the time now. Yeah. Uh, here's S again. Remember S? Uh, it's just the letter S. S. KG Tropicals. Any idea how low the pH gets with the beta tannin product? It does not say how much of an effect it has. Uh, you'll have to kind of test that out. Of course, a lot of it's going to depend on how much yeah, you put in. Dose. Um, it, it's You can put a little bit in. You can put a lot in. Uh, you can overdose it, too. So you got to be careful with that. But uh, a lot of that's going to depend on how much you dose it. Um, but I don't think because pH is one of those things that there's so many variables to it. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to put it on the bottle. This is going to lower your pH right, by two. Because what comes out of your tap could be totally different than what comes out of our tap you know and uh, but uh, yeah and also the what else you have in the tank and all of that mm. there's so many variables with it um it just says on the bottle that it lowers the ph um and i haven't tested it to know for certain uh and i don't even think that that would be a test that would be even worth the time because my tank is different than yours and my tank is different from that one and, and all of that. So you never really and know. And like you said, it depends on what you already have in your tank. You could have crushed coral in there. Why would you have it in there? But you never know. Absolutely. Not everyone's tank is the same. You might have driftwood in it. You might, someone else might not. So. Yeah. And that's something that I forgot to mention. I mean, this water is treated with the same stuff and you can see it's not, it doesn't look like a bottle of, Arizona iced tea. And that's the thing. I don't like tanks that look like iced tea. I don't mind it. I, I know you don't, but I don't like that. I've made that very clear. The dark water, you don't, it doesn't have to do that. You could put enough in there to where it does do that, but, or you can just treat it with the dosage that's on the bottle and it just, just tints it a little bit. Uh, but nothing like extreme where it looks like your fish are swimming around in Arizona iced tea. Uh, Demax with the Canadian two, 2099, good grief, as always, fantastic show. P.S. Lisa is looking extra pretty tonight. Oh, thank you. I think that's four <laughs> comments tonight about that. That were so sweet. just super chats. Who knows how many more there were in the regular chat. Uh, Melissa Jeswald, here's to someone who has had her share of water issues. Aww, yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately, ours didn't involve, fortunately for us, ours didn't involve any fish tanks yeah. so there was no damage to life Kaler's aquatics with the five dollars honey needs some treats Aww. 
Thank Earlier, you. you saw me doing this while while Marie was talking. Um, I was trying to play with the cat. I was I wasn't being weird. I was trying to play with the cat. Uh, Fishy Biz with She's the two dollars. Donnie Brasco, classic. It is. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Donnie Brasco is a great, great movie. Might I say Johnny Depp at his finest? I'm a fan of Johnny Depp. I know he's been through some stuff this year, but I'm a fan of that guy. Um, and that's, uh, yeah. Tom Pitsley sitting across from each other makes sense. It does. Yeah. Because we can look at each other. We can interact with each other, have a conversation rather than talking like this. So, yeah, thank you for helping me to make my argument for me. Manny Fernando, love your cat in the background. Also, love Aww. my Python, which I decided to buy after watching your videos. See, I told him that. Yeah. I told the people at Python, I said, hey, look, I can sell a bunch of your, your products. I'm not asking you for, you know, like freebies here, but I know I can sell a lot. And they sent me the price list and I said, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> so anyway, Chad Kratz with the $2. What temp are y'all keeping discus? What is the temperature of that tank? In there? Um, it's 83, 84. Yep. I they like it, it warmer. I keep it nice and cozy for them. Whitney Nealon, I'm getting 110 gallon for the discus. I was told to only get six. I was planning on doing a soil and sand tank that is planted, but I can wait on plants. Mm -hmm. 110 gallon with only six discus in it would be a shame. Wow, that's a that's a huge tank. But hey, they'll do your maintenance and they'll grow really, really fast. And they'll look beautiful in a planted tank. I was just suggesting get used to taking care of them first then you know just i'm pretty sure you're like the only person on youtube that says not to put a lot of plants in a discus tank I, but if you're trying to grow a discus you you want to make sure the i mean you want to make sure the water is really really clean and if you want to grow it you want to feed it a lot more so you've got to water change it a lot and i'm pretty sure that goes against you know having a planet aquarium and i'm not disagreeing with you i'm just no. saying most people i'm not are talking plant, about i'm heavy not a planting. plant expert but i can grow some discus in an empty tank so <laughs> well w with water in it uh, not you empty. know what i mean but not like all decked out i like to have driftwood in there and stuff but i just don't like to have a whole bunch of plants because if they start dying because i'm good at killing plants i'm um, good really good at that but Dead plants are not good for discus, though. I am so bad at keeping plants. I kill fake plants. Wow. Uh, that was a joke. But I'm going to tell you this, Whitney. Um, okay, you were told to only get six, and that's fine. If you were told that, you were told wrong. You can get more than that. Yeah. But, but listen, what I wanted to say, I don't think it applies to you, is what's, what a lot of people will do is they'll, they, they'll say, I can only afford six. And it's like, oh, okay, that's understandable. What size are you buying? Well, we're buying four inch fish. Mm. What I would say is, oh, okay. Well, what you're saying is you can only afford six four inch fish, but I bet you could afford 10 three inch. Mm -hmm. So even if it means buying them smaller, they, they're not super slow growers. They're not super fast growers either. They're moderate growers, especially if you keep them well fed and Keep them in a clean tank. Um, but, you know, if you have to buy them smaller, it's okay because they're really cute and they'll grow fast oh, enough yeah. to, you, you to satisfy you. you get more for you. your money. You get to watch them grow. Yours and, have quadrupled in size in a year. Well, that's because I did the right thing. Speaking of plants, Planty Q101 is here. That is Susie Q, and she started her a brand new plant channel. And I just want you to go check that out because it's a lot of fun. I am fighting this woman from doing the same thing. Doing what? Starting a plant channel. I, I know never, it's going to come this. No, it's going to come no, one of these days. I'm You're going to say it. No. You're going to say it. I, I can feel it. I have a cat it. channel. I have my own cat channel. We got to get through these because it's already 1030. Uh, Albert Smith became a new member. Welcome. Good grief. We can't let this one go. 9999 from Laura wow. M. Goodness gracious. Thrilled to see you selling betas. Oh. You educate the community so much. We're not selling them yet. Let's not uh, let's not jump the gun. Um, but you know what? <laughs> 700, 762 people are watching this right now. I'm going to make the announcement for all of y'all. Uh, yes, we will be selling betas. It's going to happen. But not for a while. 
So don't get your hopes up too fast. But uh, Laura M, you're going to have to make sure you message us because we'll give you a deal. Because good grief, $100. Yeah, you already bought your beta. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> we, we'll take care of you. Good grief. Uh, please, folks, don't everybody start sending super chats like I want them to. Don't do that. <laughs> no. I'm just saying, that was my goodness. Really I mean, sweet. that's 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 crazy. Uh, crazy in a good way. I mean, yes. like, thank you very, very much. Bonnie Eden, thank you to everybody. Uh, including Bonnie Eden. Every week I learn something new and valuable. Thank you both. That's the best compliment anybody could ever give us. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Henry Chavez, hi, my two Severums have ick. Oh. But every other fish is fine. Why is that? I got aquarium salt. Can I dose that and get rid of it? Also, oh boy, Lisa looking like a snack <laughs> with straight hair. Look, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. Oh, so I can't get mad at that. <laughs> um, listen, I, I'm not going to talk about the current <clears throat> uh, disease that's traveling around the world. I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. But let's just talk about uh, maybe you've got a group of friends and you all eat the same thing. And two friends end up going diarrhea all night long. Wow, you they, were there. Because I don't like talking about throwing up. Oh, right. So everybody else is fine, but the other two, it went right through them and they ended up sitting on the toilet all night long. Hmm. Why? Because some people's immune systems are stronger. Some people are just more fit or whatever it is. They're taking the right medications or they're healthier or their diet is better or whatever it is. And they they don't, th that food that they ate does not affect them the same way as the two people that right. it did doesn't mean the two people are unhealthy people. It just means for whatever reason, they weren't able to fight it off. But the everybody else was. Same kind of a deal you have going on here. Uh, your severums, for whatever reason, maybe they, they were stressed out. Severums are uh, very, they're, they're very non-aggressive, at least everyone that I've ever had. They're just kind of cute. They just kind of hang around and they don't really hurt anybody and uh, maybe they got stressed out from something that didn't affect the other fish in the tank, right? Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Just go ahead. Somebody said something. Matthew Meyer with the $5, nothing attached to it. Tiffany Underwood, thank you, Matthew, by the way, became a new member. Jamie G became a new member. Wow, Yasmin Sanchez became a new member. A-T-R-E, Artie. That's how I'm going to say it, became a new member. Wow, lots of new members. I'm telling you, this is a crazy night for new members. EZ with the $1.99, which website would you recommend I order fish? Um, I mean, it depends on what kind of fish you're looking for. We oh, have had yeah. good luck with Imperial Tropicals, with the Cichlid Shack, with Live Fish Direct, uh, Dan's Fish. There is a lot of companies out there that are doing a great job. Steenfot's doing a great job. Don't forget about the beta people. She, she's doing a great job. We're going to be doing a great right. job when we do it. Simply Beta is going to be yeah. doing a, or, or is doing a great job. There's a lot of them. And uh, I can tell you every single one we just mentioned, we have experience with and we have good experiences yeah. with. So uh, any of those you'd be fine. Depends on, you know, oh, what you're Hans, truly going for. Hans, Hans no brainer. Yep. Absolutely. Without even a question. Yes, Hans. Uh, Multi-tank addiction pooped on us along with everybody else tonight pooped on us. Uh, Fishy Biz came through again. Okay, 40 gallon with 40 Cardinal Tetras then. No room for bigger tank rolling with the smaller fish. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I love that a lot. That's a great idea. Or 40. Rummy Nose, nose would be fine, but then people would be like, you're copying Corey. Uh, Congo Tetras. Oh, it's probably God. my huh? new favorite. And... I think I'm the only fish keeper on earth that did not know that those fish in that video were Congo Tetris. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we put up a video on Tuesday. That was the Tuesday video, right? That was our trip to House of Tropicals and London Town Tropicals. And it's funny, somebody commented in that video, you all should go to London Town Tropicals. And I actually responded, I said, uh, did you watch the video? But anyway. I didn't uh, know who that was. And the, you should be nice. I wasn't mean. I, it was funny. I was, you know. But um, I didn't know what those fish were. And apparently everyone else in the world knows. Uh, I and thought it was uh, funny because I kept seeing 
Yeah, oh, every that comment. Fish, that fish is a con yep. Congo tetra. Congo tetra. Congo tetra. <laughs> I was going to message you and say, John, by the way, <laughs> that fish <laughs> is a Congo tetra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm the only fish keeper alive that didn't know that. Uh, amazing, amazing fish. Their fins are transparent, except they have a white trim around them. Unbelievable. At least the ones that I saw were that way. They were absolutely unbelievable. So you could get those. But but Cardinal Tetris is cool, too. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Heavily planted with like 40 cardinals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Multi-tank addiction has a dancing lemon. <laughs> I, they were doing pears. Apparently, YouTube is doing lemons now. They're That's feeling cool. a little sour lately. Sour? <laughs> Thank you. Chris, Whitney Nealon. Scared my cat. We've, we've got to get out of here. This is, uh, we've, going, we've gone so far over. Uh, is it still okay to get that many discus if it is a corner tank rather than a long tank? Thanks again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. Discus don't need length. Uh, they don't need huge height either. But uh, if you have to pick one over the other, height is, is definitely a good thing. Wide enough. Uh, but they're not the swimming back and forth all day long kind of fish like arowanas They're or really rummy mellow. nose they just kind of hang out and do their thing so yeah absolutely yeah. they'll be fine in that tom pitsley oh my john's looking fine today thank you finally <laughs> finally I somebody was laughing at. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> it's cute. He's, then he says didn't want you to feel left out Aww, yeah thank you finally thank somebody you. uh i'm sweaty i'm shiny it's it's crazy i need to dye this it's all gray this is it's a rough that. day Anyway, and then the, I think is it the last one? Yes. Uh, and then we're caught up. Grumpy Mike's Fish. Thanks for another great stream. This one was Aww. fun. This one was a lot of fun. And, uh, and and I am definitely thankful for everyone that's hung out with us. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest number we've had without Corey McElroy on it, uh, which is cool. The day we pass that number is the day I'll say, okay, that's cool. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Corey was sitting right there where you are. In my spot. <clears throat> and we had over nine, 900. And I was sitting back there in the corner. Yep. And that's the most <laughs> we've ever had on a live stream. So we had over 800 today, which is just unbelievable that um, that many people would come here to listen to us talk about fish. It's, it blows me away. I'm going to get emotional. But uh, this was a lot of fun. I can't even yeah. say it enough. Enjoyed myself tonight thank you to everyone that has super chatted i i can see there's a bunch of people that have ordered also thank you i i don't have time to thank each and every one of you on the stream here tonight because i don't even know where my phone is to get that um so yeah thank you all so very much and like i do every week i will let you oh, my yeah. lady close it out <laughs> well anyways let's see if this I'm goes to you yep exactly what he said because i i feel the exact same way and thank you so much for joining us. It's been it's been a lot of fun. And look, we just got another super chat from Fishy Biz. Uh, looked at Congo Tetras, Congos. It is video will be bananas. Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> but um, again, thank you so much for joining us. It was it was a lot of fun, and we appreciate you coming and spending this time with us. And thank you to the mods for, you know helping us out all the time you guys are awesome so anyways have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next thursday <laughs>